Hello, I'm Karen Ginoni. I'm a presenter at BBC World News based here at New Broadcasting House in London. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what my normal working day is like. So the first part of my day after getting coffee is to go into the area where the producers sit and sit with the production team, usually two or three colleagues, and go over what the stories are we're talking about in our programme, we've got planned for our programme. A lot of stuff that I will say that comes up on autocue is stuff I've written myself, scripts I've written myself, or failing that, if I don't have time to write all the stories which is usually the case, I will spend my time on writing headlines and the top introduction to the top report because I like to at least have had some say in the words because you have different styles for different people. So it's nice to be able to check and rewrite as much as you can and make it a little bit more your own style. Now I usually arrive four hours before my programme goes on air and at about two or three hours to go I will go downstairs to the makeup department where you can go in looking really scruffy and come out looking immaculate uh, due to their wondrous skills and that takes about 45 minutes with makeup and hair. You also need to go in a little bit before you go on air to have a, a bit of extra powder because it's been about two hours since you had the full makeup. So quite a lot of time for us females at least uh, is spent in makeup. Men probably take about 10 minutes, we take up to an hour. Once I'm out of makeup after that final check, it's a very short walk along the corridor to Studio B or any of the studios that we use and I get in about 10 to 15 minutes before the programme goes on air because that gives the chance for the director to rehearse the headlines with you and we have a run through of how the beginning of the programme will look. In three, two, one. Hello, you're watching GMT on BBC World News. I'm Karen Jinnah. The Ukrainian president says an agreement over a ceasefire has been... As far as what I say when I'm interviewing people, that's not scripted. That is all your own words. You don't have that written for you. You're just presented with a guest and you have to interview them for two, three, four, five minutes, all off your own back, with a little bit of maybe discussion with the producer beforehand about what you want to do.